ProchCAD Interface Overview Introducing Ribbon Menu In the following video, our host will guide you to explore ProchCAD interface in general. At the end of this session you should be able to know basic interface with common settings being used in ProjCAD, and easily recognize ribbon, tabs, panels, and how to reach those features. Hello everyone! In this session we will get ourselves familiar with the common interface, explore ribbon menu and understand how to reach and use those tools. In the following session we will take a tour on ProjCAD interface focusing on main and common features. As we begin our journey, let's get ourselves familiar with the ProjCAD interface. When you first start ProjCAD with full ribbon interface selected, you'll notice the graphical menu at the top, giving you access to various commands, tools and options. On the top left, you can see a quick access toolbar, showing series of tools starting with creating new drawing, open an existing drawing, save current open drawing, Save drawing as other file name, location, or to DXF format. Undo. Redo. Print preview. Print or plot drawing. And layer manager. All these are default icons that will appear on the screen, and you can customize it according to your needs. If you click the logo here, you will open up the start menu, where you can find standard tools like most of other software has. In here, you can see vertical menu, such as, new, open, PDF to DWG, where you can import a vector-based PDF and convert into editable drawing objects. Save, save as, print, and so on. You can take your time to navigate this menu later. Now let's explore ribbon menu. Just right below Quick Access Toolbar, you can find Ribbon Menu, where this section organizes the tools into logical categories, contains series of tabs starting with Home, 2D Draw, Insert, Annotate Layout, and so on. So, in our video series, when we mention Ribbon and Tab, you should be able to find where it is. For example, let's go to Annotate tab, you can see all tools related to annotation category in here. And then let's go back to Home tab, where you can see most of common tools that we will be using in ProjCAD. Well, maybe not all, but most of it. In each tab, there will be a series of panel in well-organized categories. In Home tab for example, you can see Draw panel, Modify panel, Annotation panel which you can also find these tools in Annotate tab with more advanced tools and commands, Block panel, Layers panel, Properties panel, Utilities panel and Clipboard panel. You can actually customize these ribbon, tabs and panels to suit your needs, but we are not going to that level now. These settings however are sufficient and good enough for general purpose and commonly used in most field or industries. Just to show you at a glance, the interface appearance will change if you choose different workspace settings such as Ribbon Beginner and CAD Classic. If you go to Swift between workspace button here, you can choose any workspace setting you like that suit to your needs, as long as you're comfortable to work with. But for this session let us stick with Ribbon Full to take full advantage of getting familiar with ProjCAD tools and commands, especially that mostly used in our daily CAD task. Below Ribbon menu, you can see file tabs, showing drawing files currently opened. The symbol plus allow you to quickly create a new drawing. You can see the standard file name added Drawing 1, Drawing 2, Drawing 3, and so on. The Start page appeared by default. You can switch if off by clicking Skip Start page next time. So when you start ProjCAD again, you will not see this Start page anymore and ProjCAD will straight away starts a new empty drawing. But, if you wish to get the Start page appear during startup, you can go to Start menu here and click on Open Start page. Make sure to uncheck Skip Start Page next time so that it will appear again every time you start ProjCAD. Another thing that you need to know is, you can also slide the file tab to the left and right like this. It may be useful sometime when you're working on with more than one drawing file. That's all for now. You can now play around, navigate, and explore the ribbon. Try to switch from ribbon full to 2D Drawing and Annotate, Ribbon Beginner, or even CAD Classic. You can make these changes at any time. 
In the next video, we will explore more interface like palette and command line and status bar. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoy our video series. Please subscribe and click like to support us. We will keep on producing more videos from time to time, so stay tuned and keep on following us.